After nearly 30 years of stagnating rates of alcohol-related highway fatalities and injuries, the National Transportation Safety Board NTSB, has called for a reduction in the illegal blood alcohol concentration per se limit from 0.08 to 0.05 or lower in the U.S. to save lives and prevent injuries. Alcohol Justice strongly supports this change. When we look at drunk driving in this country and we look at the number of fatalities, I think a lot of people think this is a problem that's been solved because they've heard so much about drunk driving really for decades. But it, in fact, it hasn't been solved. NTSB Chair Deborah Hurstman, recognized as one of the nation's most visionary and passionate safety leaders advocating for safety across all modes of transportation, had this to say. This is a huge problem. 10,000 fatalities every year, 173,000 injuries, and 27,000 of those injuries are debilitating, life-altering injuries. The toll is really just too high, and we can't afford not to do something. We made this set of recommendations and interventions to bring that number down to reduce the crashes, the fatalities, and the injuries. Each year, drunk driving accidents cost the U.S. $130 billion. That's B for billions. While the pain and suffering of the families affected by these accidents are hard to measure, what can be measured is the strength and courage of a government willing to reduce the grisly numbers. We know that drivers are significantly impaired at .05. There is no debate about that. We lose on average of 10,000 people to impaired driving crashes every year. If our government is really interested in saving lives, all they have to do is look to other countries. Australia, Austria, Denmark, France, Germany, Israel, South Africa, Spain, and many more have already adopted a .05 illegal BAC limit for driving at the urging of leading medical, highway safety, and public health organizations. Japan, Poland, Norway, Russia, and Sweden have an even lower illegal BAC limit of .02 to .03. As you have heard, it's been 30 years since states began adopting the .08 BAC limit. Since then, however, the percentage of fatal crashes involving impaired drivers has not improved. It's time for a new national campaign and a new consensus to lower the illegal drunk driving threshold to 0.05 BAC or lower. Numerous studies from around the world show that once every state has adopted the new standard, we will save from 800 to 1800 lives, reduce thousands of injuries, and save billions in costs, all without any appreciable increase in enforcement. Yes, it's time for the U.S. to join the rest of the world in adopting a lower legal level of alcohol-impaired driving. As the NTSB has shown, we will be in good company when we do. Organizations supporting illegal BAC limits at .05 per se or lower include World Medical Association, American Medical Association, British Medical Association, European Commission, European Transport Safety Council, World Health Organization, Canadian Medical Association, Center for Addiction and Mental Health, and the Association for the Advancement of Automotive Medicine. Please join these organizations and Alcohol Justice in encouraging elected U.S. state and federal leaders to adopt .05 BAC as the new standard to protect health and safety on our roads and highways. Go to alcoholjustice.org to take action now.